Hi, I'm Andy Smith. I'm the timpanist of the Philharmonia Orchestra, and I have been for a very long time, or it seems like it. The first time I ever heard you at very close quarters, shall we say, yeah. was my first ever rehearsal and concert with this orchestra, which was Shike Six in Wells Cathedral. I was slightly confused because in my clarinet part, um, and th this is a pencil marking which is still there, towards the end of the last movement, there's a passage where the orchestra will build up and you play a very loud note followed immediately by a chord from all of the rest of us. Yes. Right? You play on the first beat of the bar, we come in slightly yeah. after that. And in the part, in pencil, I didn't understand what it meant. There was a large arrow by the rest where you play and the word thumper. Ah. And I had no idea what this meant, but I soon found out. When I first joined the orchestra, um, David Mason, who was the principal trumpet, just decided that he was going to call me Thumper. And ever since then, uh, the word Thumper has stuck. I suppose it's something to do with, I suppose it's something to do with the way I play. I, I, I don't hold back if I feel that the, that, that the, the quality of the sound that's needed um, is, is warranted. So I, I, I mean, warranted. I really, I'm, I'm really not frightened of, yeah. of thumping it, yes. Yes. as they, as they put yes. it. I think my whole career has been guided by fate. I was a pianist. I went into the Leicestershire School Symphony Orchestra as a pianist. So when I got to college, I did piano, piano and oboe as first study. And because I'd got a little bit of experience, they put me in third orchestra at college. But the conductor was a guy called Vernon Hanley. It wasn't long after I'd done a couple of rehearsals for, for Vernon, he, he caught me coming off the stage and he said, when are you going to come and play for me at Guildford? I thought he was joking. It, it took an amazing amount of cheek because I said to him, if you give me enough concerts so I can buy some drums and a van, I will supply the gear for nothing as long as I get enough concerts to be able to pay for the drums and the van. And then the next, the next day, Kathleen Atkinson, who was his secretary at that time, phoned me up and offered me a whole year's work with the Guildford Phil. Okay. And that was it. And the first concert was the Rite of Spring, funny enough. <laughs> so, and I've been playing the Rite of Spring ever since, I think. It goes back to my first experience of the orchestra coming in and there were these, all around me were these players who were, you know, very famous and huge characters and huge players musically and of course Andy is one of those people, he's kind of a defining feature of the Philharmonia sound, gradually got to know him, you know, over the, the years and, uh, you know, always loved him and respected him very much as a person as, uh, alongside the, the great playing. first memory of Andy is Japan, we were doing Mala 5 and I've never heard timpani playing like it. It was amazing. And because of the bass playing, we're very close to the timpani and I just turned around and I just thought, who is that man playing the timpani? And was, it was a memory for life because it was an epic performance. The moment that I will never forget is when we were doing um, Alto Sprax Zarathustra by Richard Strauss and the opening starts with this deep, deep C chord, just bottom C. And then you get the famous trumpet. Da, ba, 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 that thing. Um, it's very famously used in 2001, A Space Odyssey. And then the timp starts with these triplets. You know, they get louder and louder. And I was sat at the back of the viola section. So I was right in front of the timps. 
and I could just I could almost feel these timps before I heard them and each time this this phrase happened it got louder and louder and louder and it, it got to the point where it was almost ridiculously loud I could feel the sound filling the hall but and this is the key thing with Andy it was never an ugly sound it was never brutal it was always a rich sonorous kind of rum. I know he got this nickname of Thumper, and David said it was, it was always, but it was, I mean, a timpanist, in a way, is, after the leader, probably the most important member of the orchestra. And Andy was always sensitive to this wonderful sound that the orchestra has always made. His playing is, without doubt, the greatest timpanist I've ever heard. I remember uh, being in a car going to uh, a concert and um, a friend playing me um, some music and they said, could I identify the orchestra? And I remember it was Heldenleben, and there was one point, there was this enormous timpani note, and I, I just looked at my friend and said, that's the Philharmonia, because I said, that's Andy Smith, and it was. <laughs> I kind of knew Andy before I knew him, because every time I heard the Philharmonia live, before I actually ended up conducting them, um, I really, paid attention to, to the timpani. And then, of course, when I started working with the Phil Philharmonia, I, I realized what an important musician he was. There have been more than a handful of situations over these uh, 30 years when he has uh, completely saved me <laughs> and everybody else in the orchestra. He's just that kind of a musician rock solid, um, but very sensitive. Lots of fun memories. When I joined the orchestra, there were a bunch of people who firmly believed that they had something worth preserving. We have a lot to offer still, and I think the public appreciate that. I do think that they appreciate and see the commitment that we give when we're on the platform. They only know the half of it, the commitment, the amount of time we spend traveling, uh, the amount of time we spend rehearsing and, and, and all the rest of it, and juggling family ties and sorting all sorts of day-to-day -day problems out just so we can sit on the platform and play for them. It has been a privilege a pleasure and an honour to be the orchestra's timpanist for the last 40 years.